if you guys are drinking for uh, Capri Sun and and it's not Pacific Cooler, you're, you're you gotta go rethink your life. Yo, What's going on, Sudo Crew? I'm back today sharing with you some of the stuff that I got over the Christmas break. Uh, and then I'm going to be opening this box here. Now this, of course you already know what it is because you clicked on the video and you can read, I'm assuming at least. But this is the Akira box set. I'm really super stoked to get into this. Uh, I've been trying to talk myself into buying it for like a year plus now, and I finally did. And and uh, I'll get to that in a second, but first, this is another Eevee that I have, and this Eevee is huge. Um, it is from the Build-A-Bear workshop. My mother uh, purchased this Eevee for me for Christmas, and I didn't. I told her that I didn't want anything. I said, please, don't buy me anything. And uh, when when I realized, because you wrapped the build the build a bear, I don't know if you guys know, but the build a bear come in this oddly specifically shaped box, and she just wrapped that box, and so I didn't know what it was, and then like a second before I actually revealed it, because I was opening it, and I was begrudgingly. Uh, so I'm opening it up and I'm like, oh, you shouldn't have gotten me anything, I told you not to. And then like a split second changed, and it was like, oh my god, I think it's Eevee. And it was Eevee, and this Eevee is adorable, it's huge, and my mom stuffed the hell out of it, uh, so that it could sit on the shelf. There's no room on the shelf, uh, which means, of course, it's time to move again. Um, but, uh, but nevertheless, this Eevee is here, um, and so another, another Eevee to add to the collection. So now that that's out of the way, he, she can sit here and watch me open the rest of everything else. Okay, perfect. Uh, now these I got from the Barnes & Noble, uh, what's it called? Manga Mania? No, no, no. Uh, manga, Manga Monday? Something like that? Sale? It's been a couple Mondays, right? Because I haven't seen you guys in a long time. So I got Wotakoi, uh, Volume 3. And I also got, uh, this is Dead Mount Death Play, and I did not know anything about this, and I almost didn't get it, but then I saw on BarnesandNoble.com that it was rated M, and I was like, <laughs> okay, whatever, I guess that's supposed to do it for me. This is After Hours Volume 3, and this is the final volume of After Hours Volume 3, or After Hours, the series, um, and I like short series, and uh, I haven't started it yet, but a couple of you guys have told me about it, and I don't want to misquote you or misrepresent the book. Um, but now that it's done, I'll definitely read it. And and uh, it's odd because the first two were very small and this one's very wide. And so I wonder why they just didn't publish two this size, but I don't know. Anyway, this is Attack of Value Volume 26. And I'm actually like three, let me see. Yeah, okay, so I'm three volumes behind Attack on Titan. I don't know what's happening. Uh, and it just barely started to get good again around like volume 24 or so, volume 23. Uh, and I was like, oh, because around 20, something happened, and it was, it was, it blew my brain out, and I was like, this is it, that's the end of the series, and they're like, no, we're gonna push it a little further, and I was like, why, though, no. and they just kept pushing it, and volume 21 was terrible, and 22 was terrible, and I just didn't care, and, uh, but anyway, volume 23 was, at the very last little bit of volume 23, it was really super good, and, uh, so now I'm, I'm back into it, yes, and I've collected the the last two, but I've been into Promise Neverland uh, recently, so I just haven't had an opportunity to read that. And uh, I'm a Sundoku, and we buy first and ask questions later. If you guys are drinking per, uh, Capri Sun, and and it's not Pacific Cooler, you're you gotta go rethink your life because Capri Sun Pacific Cooler is the, there shouldn't even be other flavors. This is Star Wars Darth Vader. This is a trade paperback of, of the Darth Vader comics. Uh, my friend, actually, who digs the crap out of Star Wars and almost never reads comics, was saying, oh, you should check out this comic because I read it. It's super good. Um, and so I was like, okay. So I bought it, uh, and I will, I'll, I'll read it later. I, I'm actually super stoked about this. Uh, the art looks super good, and all of the Star Wars extended universe I'm a big fan of, and so... I'll get into that later. Now this is the Final Fantasy Ultimania Archive Volume 2 uh, in the US, which in Japan is just like a blip in the radar as far as Ultimania guides are concerned. Um, 
But I'm super glad that Dark Horse is publishing something Final Fantasy because we got the Splatoon art book, for God's sakes, before we got anything Final Fantasy related. That's a bit jacked up, Dark Horse. Regardless, uh, you've, you've uh, redeemed yourself because this I'm totally stoked about. If you're wondering what happened to games one through six, uh, I didn't care. <laughs> I just didn't care because uh, eight is my favorite game. And, uh, well, I care just not as much as this one. And so I've, I had this on my pre-order registry at Amazon, and so it just came out and shipped to me, and here it is. And uh, I haven't opened it yet, as you can still see, it's still in the plastic. Um, but I will I will get to it, and I'll let you guys know what's up about that later. Okay, so now that all the preliminary stuff's out of the way, sorry for wasting five minutes of your time, uh, I'm going to be unboxing this. And one thing that I noticed is that it says all over it, like, do not unpack, does it say that? Yeah, yeah, do not unpack, as we can see there. Uh, they say that it's fragile, they say to keep it upright, and to keep it dry. All good things uh, to do <laughs> with manga. Um, my assumption, and I don't know if this is correct, my assumption is that uh, these come to distribution centers, and the distribution centers not to open them, it is to just simply put a shipping label on this and ship it away. A lot of you guys that I've talked to, talk to with specifically have said that you have had trouble with the actual box itself. Now, with it coming damaged or, or the books broken or something like that, specifically the box that the books come in. Um, I, this is why I've been a little bit overly cautious about purchasing it because I didn't want to purchase something and have it be broken and I am not the kind of guy that complains about stuff, for instance, Wotakoi, I noticed as I was opening it from Mars and Noble, and this is like a month ago, so I, don't, I especially don't want to complain now, um, but the spine is bent, just slightly, it's like, it's, the spine is wrinkled, I don't even know if that is showing up on anything, um, regardless, it doesn't make the book look good, but I don't, I just don't care to, like, bother Barnes and Noble about it, it's not Barnes and Noble's fault, probably, Anyway, so I, w I didn't want to, to buy this and have it be jacked up and then not return it. But it was on sale for like $115 or something like that. And it retails for some ungodly, unbelievable price. And so I s sure as shit didn't want to pay retail for it. Because I don't pay retail for anything. And you guys shouldn't either. Uh, anyway, so I waited for it to come online on Amazon for a super cheap price and I bought it. Oh, look. Oh, that's my Amazon order. Okay. Yeah, I bought it for $115. Shipping was a penny. That's not bad for, for this. I think it retails 300 something. That, I, that might be wrong. That might be exceptionally high. But but maybe. It's some, some crazy ass price. I'm really afraid to open this. Okay, so here we go. From the distributor's packaging, we shall open this box. And, uh, okay, you guys, look. It doesn't, like... If they screw it up, they've got to really screw it up, because there's another box in here, and it's got these little foam things on the corners, so the corners aren't going to get bashed in, and that's probably not enough to secure... <laughs> I mean, these books are heavy. It says that it's two pounds on the on the package, but that's a damn lie. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get this out without standing up and ruining the shot. Let's try it. No, there's no way in hell. These things are way too heavy. Definitely not two pounds. Let's try, try to flip it up like this and slide it out. So it says again... It says again... Oh, come on. Do not unpack. So I'm not following the rules, I'm unpacking it. But I guess it's fine, because I own it now. Oh yeah, let's just go like this. Although, this violates another one of the rules. It said don't turn it upside down. I just turned it upside down. Um, okay, so, aside from all of these things, and let me know in the comments, um, for people who have also purchased this book, how yours has come, because I've been super curious as to see how it's arrived. My assumption was that it's like every other book, like, they usually, at distribution centers, they get a whole pack of one volume, like 20-something of them, and just all in one crate. And that's kind of how this is, but it's just one just one thing in the one box, so it's a little bit different. Um, but let me know how you guys purchased yours. I'm, I worry that a lot of people at distribution centers, wherever you guys bought them from, did not keep it, did not follow the directions, and they probably unpacked it and shipped it in some generic ass box, because so far this seems pretty damn secure. Okay, so that 
that out of the way, we have a sheet of cardboard. Ooh, 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 ooh. And we have staring at you, uh, Akira. In big, beautiful, bold letters. That looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Okay, we're going to tip it out again. And I'm super nervous about doing this. It is incredibly heavy. Okay. All right. Two giant boxes down. Uh, so on the bottom of the box. Okay, so real retail for 200. So that's still that's still pretty damn pricey. Not as bad as I was thinking. We have the logo. Uh, this is the side of the box. And it looks like this. That's the other side. That's the other side. Pretty sweet. And we got the back that has all this the packaging stuff included into it. So so far. It looks legit as hell. There's no dented corners. I, you guys were showing me horror stories, legitimately, of some like really jacked up boxes that you all had. This one looks freaking perfect. In fact, the boxes were so bad that I remember last year, Kodansha was like, they sent out on Twitter that they would, they would mail you just a new box to keep your books in if you could send them proof that you purchased it uh, and how badly it was damaged. Okay, so it's got this shrink wrap all over it. I am going to just carefully cut it. Let's see. Oh God. I just don't want to mess it up. Especially with it arriving not destroyed. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so it's a shiny glossy finish on the box. Um, and It's incredibly heavy. This is a bottom shelf uh, set of books for sure. Okay, so one thing that I noticed, which is a little bit kind of dumb, but the box itself, it, there's nothing printed on the box other than this. All the sides are stickers. Like this is a sticker and, uh, and this whole thing. Okay, maybe not even a sticker. Maybe I'll take that off later. I'll definitely take it off later. I don't want to bother with it now, unless I have to to get it in the books. Maybe I have to to get to the books. Shit. How do you open this thing? Does it not, like, recording a- Oh, damn! Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, that's super cool. We gotta do that again. Here we go. Ready? Ready for this? <laughs> it's so heavy. Ooh. Ooh, snap. Those look cool as hell. These are thick, freaking quality books. Oh my god. Okay, also, for those who don't know, and I don't, I mean, no one knows because I haven't said anything about it. I've never talked about Akira before. I've never read Akira. I know. That's like when I admitted to everybody that I didn't read Attack on Titan. And now I love Attack on Titan. Probably about Akira. I just don't have like the other the other editions were so ugly and these ones look awesome let's actually pull out a book let me go and check that out damn that's cool that's so slick that looks so good what is this stupid thing oh seriously they printed one book like three millimeters taller than all the other ones this stupid Akira Club book is like two millimeters taller than all the other ones so they had to put this stupid piece of white cardstock in the bottom of the case. That is stupid as hell. These books aren't even that long. What the shit? Okay, so this is, oh, that's awesome. They don't have them flipped anymore. So this is the book, right? But the, the box, there's like three inches of packing. Okay, maybe an inch and a half of packing along the back edge. So it didn't even need to be this tall. It could have been smaller. That's a little bit dumb. Anyway, there's that. We got the, the original cover there. Um, the slip cover. Oh snap. That looks pretty sweet. Now this is a, this is a definitely, oh that looks awesome. That looks really cool. So now the question is, do I display them in the case? Or do I remove them from the case and display them on the shelf? I don't know. Usually when I've gotten box sets, I've taken them out of the box. I know that kind of defeats the purpose of the box set, but usually with box sets, 
it's cheaper to buy the box set than to buy each of the manga individually. Um, as I now know with freaking Tokyo Ghoul, because the box set of Tokyo Ghoul is super cheap, and each volume individually was not super cheap. But there we go, the 35th anniversary edition of Akira, as of last year, now it's 36 years old, but that's not as an impressive sounding number. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, thank you Evie for watching me open the box, um, and thank you Mom for Evie, and thank you Kodansha for reprinting Akira. Uh, I'm super stoked to to be able to have it. That's a daunting task, though, just to open it up and see see the the bajillion pages of books right there. Like that's a little that's not a weekend read for me. And so maybe it'll take me some time. Pretty cool looking though. It'll take me some time, but I will get through them, and I'll let you guys know what I think about them at some point. As always, I would love feedback if you guys have any specific volumes that you want me to check out, specific series or anything like that, and uh, thank you again for hanging out. I will catch you later, alright? Peace.